We have here verse 6 of the 16th chapter, the Gospel of John. Jesus, of course, in the midst of his conversation with the disciples about the fact that he will be departing but sending to them the Parakletos, who is going to take up the role that Jesus himself has played of being their advocate, their lawyer, as it were. But, of course, what the disciples have uh, fixated on is the statement that Jesus will be departing, and really everything else seems to be, at least for the moment, somewhat lost on them. And Jesus uh, really returns to that right now as he notes that while his departure ought to be a source of great joy, because, of course, he's going to the position of ruling the universe, he's won the great battle, and now he's going to receive the spoils of victory, as it were, but the disciples can only think of themselves and think of the sense in which they're going to be deprived of his presence. And Jesus points that out to them here. So we have all, which is shortened of Allah, strong conjunction, uh, the uh, conjunction here, hoti, can mean because, and that's the sense here, but because, tauta, the demonstrative pronoun, it's the accusative, plural, neuter, so because these things, lelaleka, from laleo, I speak, first person singular, perfect active indicative, because these things I have spoken to you continue to speak them, and they continue to have this impact on you. The indirect object here is who men, second person, plural, dative. So I've spoken these things to you, so tout is the direct object, who men the indirect object, because I've spoken these things to you. And then the subject here, hey, the feminine uh, nominative singular article, hey lupe. Lupe is a, a feminine noun. It means uh, sorrow or anguish. It's a rather strong word. And so, because I've spoken these things to you, the sorrow, uh, the idea here, pepleroken, from pleroo, means to fill something up. This is the uh, third person singular, perfect active indicative. So, the sorrow has filled, and then humon put up front to give it a little additional emphasis. Uh, the second person genitive plural pronoun of you cardion, the heart, singular heart here, of course, so as if to uh, tie together the hearts of all of these into one expression of the sorrow, the grief that they're experiencing, because I've spoken these things to you, the sorrow, the grief, the sorrow has filled, uh, of you, plural, the heart, singular. Uh, really commenting on the way in which united together the disciples are now sharing in this moment of grief at the prospect of the departure of Jesus.